Steve on the Director of Baxter Projects. My name's Mark, I'm the Senior Project Manager for Baxter Projects. Baxter started in 2016, um, just me moving on from previous employment and started just by myself, small, had lots of opportunities for people I've worked with in the past, so just organically built up pretty quickly. Um, we got some really good opportunities, came to us early days and we've just sort of built on those, built on the relationships and sort of directed the business in the way that we wanted to go, which was working with blue chip clients and doing commercial projects and we're yeah, just sort of moving forward down that space and doing repeat work, not at a massive scale, but smaller projects and doing them well. So, based in Mornington, yeah. so you know, long, long commutes. From where we live, we love living down the peninsula and ending up, you know, 10, 20 minutes from work. So um, some of us are commute down to Mornington, but we find that we can get into the city and travel around quite efficiently and easily from here. If we schedule our meetings, you can zip in and out of the city from Mornington, which is good, and then we get a good lifestyle down this way. So plumber by trade way back when, and then I did lots of carpentry as well. Um, post being a plumber, foreman, site manager, and then I sort of moved through a couple of big commercial site, um, commercial site management roles, um, delivering some pretty big and challenging projects. Um, so what we do now is pretty much a bit of a step back from that, but that's in our comfort zone a little bit. So we're getting there. We're slowly building back to some things that I was delivering previously. Yeah. I run the project team for Baxter Projects for project delivery. I'm a, I'm a carpenter by trade, so yeah. Um, previously getting into construction, I was in IT, so I was an IT project manager in, in, um, in a telco for a long period of time. And then I changed my career when I was 30, so, and then got into, so I've been in construction for 20 years. Currently I've got uh, eight reports at the moment, so yeah, so I've got two in estimating. I've got four um, project coordinators and two project managers so live projects i've got six at the moment so and then the other project manager matt he's got five so quite a few projects on the board at the moment and they vary in pricing so in the sense of value so they could be as low as 100 grand to 3.5 mil well, steve can elaborate on more but basically we're in the education space so predominantly at the moment so and also we specialize in health so live environments is what we do so very specialised work as such, a lot of stakeholder management and delivery in an in a, in a environment that's active. So we, we don't do green field sites or anything like that. So yes, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, disciplines involved in that. It's quite interesting work. Health is very interesting. Education is always interesting as well. So, and then we do hospitality here and there. Everything we do is about repeat business. So um, build that relationship with the client, with the architect, with the project team and absolutely we want them coming back to us and we want to um, keep feeding what they need and work on those relationships and, and that, that's working really well on the customers we currently have. We work quite closely with Monash University. Um, we just picked up a minor works contract with them. Um, so there's smaller projects and anything up to sort of half a mil uh, and we're doing some stuff over that with them as well. And we're working quite closely with Max, which is the Catholic school system, uh, doing quite a few projects around the southern regions for them at the moment. So, and, and they're a great client of ours as well. We're doing quite a lot of work around Australian Unity, uh, HealthScope, Ramsey Health, a um, few of the local hospitals here we've worked at for a long period of time and doing some quite challenging works with, with them as well. So some unique and different works and it's very um, technical, tough spaces to work in. So offers quite the challenge to deliver on their needs. Yeah. Yeah, Bex is quite a unique company in the sense of what we actually deliver. So in the live environments and the spaces that we work in, there's always a lot of planning and if we ex execute the work as such, um, working in hospitals and things like that, it's, it, all those spaces, it's very technical. So you learn a lot like things that you just wouldn't learn. I, I remember coming here for the first time and learning all about medical gases, something I'd never know about beforehand. So now I know all about medical gases and what's involved 
also working in those environments is quite challenging at times, but it makes you more aware of what we're actually delivering. And when you deliver it, it's seamless, it's quite rewarding. So it's good, you know, zero impact is great. So, um, and the clients that we work for are very good at what they do. So it's always good to have that visibility of what they're trying to achieve themselves. So if we can complement that with what we deliver, it's uh, yeah, it is very re rewarding. For me, particularly in my team, I'm looking for people who are thinkers. So, um, because we have to think outside of the box at times, well, most of the time. Planners, um, reactive people are generally, construction industry is all about being react reactive at the best of times, but we try to plan as much as we can. We get the ability to do that. So with these types of jobs we have, um, yeah, people who are interested in achieving well in the space and learning new things. So um, taking their skills and uh, adapting them to a new challenge is quite good. Um, because we don't know what will come through the door, um, in the sense that it's building, but it could be, or well, it's construction, but it could be a, a, something to do with a the theatre, or it could be something to do with a school, or, um, or it could be something to do with the um, university that's quite diverse. So you've got to come up to speed in the sense of what's actually happening in that space. So there's a lot of learning, and no one gets uh, stagnant or anything like that. So, And then I'm looking at people who have got good, strong methodologies. So they understand the project life cycle, they understand what, how to do stakeholder management. Those type of disciplines are very clear in our delivery. So, and they can be taught, but that person needs to be uh, willing to accept it, um, which is what we look for. And those people generally, when they come on board in a short period of time, excel. So, and that's quite rewarding for us. So to see what people can do that they probably didn't think they could do. It's a family business and it has a family vibe. And some people will, you know, that can get thrown around quite a lot, but we're quite adamant that that is how we have our culture here in Baxter Project. So the person that we look at employing or recruiting needs to fit into that. Now, I would say that we're a tight team in the sense that we, we aren't in each other's pockets as such, but we do care about each other. Um, we have certain things we do, we eat together every day sort of stuff. We have a bar that's open from three o'clock every day sort of thing. Um, we have Friday beers. Uh, we try to have no disconnect between office and site. Everyone's collected together at some point in time. So we have a general meeting once a month as well. So everyone's kind of, it's a small business doing big things, but it's when Steve is, is very adamant that it's not about him sort of at the top of the business. It's about all our personnel doing what they do well and nourishing that sort of that, that environment. So one of the biggest things we've tried to implement in the company is to try to bridge the gap between office and site because that can become quite a divide in companies that I've worked with in the past. Um, so we try to bring that as close as we possibly can and it's quite quite a challenge to do that. But the closer we get that, the closer team we have running. Um, and everyone can start feeding off each other. So we try to implement a lot of things to bring that gap a little bit closer, hence the Friday beers. And, you know, we try to have a golf thing every fortnight, just uh, after work, just go down and play golf with the people that want to do that. It sort of brings everyone together. Yeah, so predominantly five days a week is what we set out to achieve. And being construction, there's always, out of hours works, there's always Saturdays, Sundays. We try to reward our site staff with that. So if they do go and work a Saturday, we'll put it in as time in lieu so they can take that off when the project settles down or they might have some personal stuff to do at home. So that's my site management coming out in me and they're the things that I struggled with a little bit is working every Saturday and I felt like you're working it for free on a, on a salary and not feeling the support and the love around you to do that. Um, so that's again trying to bring that gap a little bit closer, trying to make people feel rewarded for their Saturdays and extra works, yeah, good. Cool.